Now, first chance for a real rain shower. Still a couple hours away here in the Toledo Metro, so let's just sit back, relax, enjoy a beautiful evening here down at Levis Commons. How about that? A few fair weather cumulus clouds, but lots of sunshine, bright skies for the next few hours, and temperatures that are still pretty warm, aren't they? 77 degrees officially right now in Toledo. You can see Marblehead, Monroe, Lakeshore communities a little bit cooler. We're still holding on, though, to 80 in Bowling Green and 81 in Napoleon. It is not going to be that warm tomorrow. I guarantee you that first alert Doppler again. A few light sprinkles, maybe uh, far western parts of northwest Ohio. Much of this not reaching the ground just yet. Better moisture is going to push in tonight, as you'll see right here on our hour by hour forecast. We've got our sidebar forecast you can always glance at. And yeah, look at that high temperature for Thursday. Big changes ahead for us here. Let's put the clock into motion. Stop it here just after the sun goes down. Let's say 10 or 11 o'clock. Could see some steady rain. Fremont, Tiffin, Sandusky. If this rain shifts over just about 10 miles, that would be steady rain for Toledo, Bowling Green, Finley as well. So not completely out of the woods for some steadier rain there along the I-75 corridor for tonight. Starting off tomorrow morning, it's going to be cloudy. There's going to be a couple showers out there, but we're starting to hone in on the better chance for rain tomorrow may end up later on into the afternoon. It's going to be a breezy day. I think the winds could gust as high as 25 to 30 miles per hour. It's going to be cool again. Temperatures going to be in the low 60s and look at the widespread rain here at six o'clock. So if you've got some stuff to get done, you feel like procrastinating. I can tell you tomorrow if you have outdoor chores, you're likely not going to get them in steady soaking showers here for several hours tomorrow afternoon and evening. It is going to be a raw, nasty feeling mid June day. It's going to be completely out of character for what you would expect for the middle of June. Rainfall totals a half inch in many spots could get over an inch where you get several rounds of rain between overnight tonight and into tomorrow. Now we do rebound quickly. Friday is going to be a really nice day. Could see some late day showers Friday, but the majority of the day I think should be dry. Better chance for rain returns Saturday and Sunday. I know for your weekend plans, it is Father's Day there Sunday, and so you will have to navigate around at least a chance for a couple of downpours. And yeah, just like we've had all spring, more chances for scattered rain all the way into next week. How about that for you? What are you going to do about this? We've been There's trying to turn too much rain. We've been trying We're to turn every it. knob we've got back here in the weather center. <laughs> Nothing seems to work for turn us. Turn that spigot off. Well, yeah, yes. we, we have been at least trying to get out there, uh, talk to the kids and uh, tell them about uh, severe weather safety. I was out at Northwood Safety awesome. Town earlier today. This is at Northwood Schools. Of course, the obligatory tornado in a bottle. We call him Mr. Twisty. Uh, kids love it there. You spin it around. We talk about where to be during severe weather, lightning safety and all that. So uh, a lot of fun here. We were at Mommy last week and out at West Unity and Stryker as well. But not so how to turn the spigot off. <laughs> we still have the kids don't know which button buttons to press either. So, so how many of those little kids would it take to <laughs> about three? <laughs> three. <laughs> so. Sports is next. All right.